In the realm of showbiz, few actors have achieved the remarkable staying power that the enchanting Loretta Young has. What sets her apart is not only her enduring presence in three different mediums, motion pictures, radio theater, and television, but also her extraordinary journey. Loretta's career began as a young extra during the silent era of films, and it gracefully extended through the illustrious golden age of Hollywood. Without any formal training in theater or drama, she rose to become a celebrated star both on the silver screen and the earwaves, leaving an indelible mark in each domain. Young's story took a captivating turn when she decided to bid farewell to her flourishing film career and embrace the uncharted territory of the burgeoning golden age of television. In doing so, she became a pioneer, venturing into a new medium with unparalleled grace and charisma. Loretta's remarkable talents earned her the distinction of being the first actor to claim both an Academy Award and an Emmy, solidifying her place in the annals of entertainment history. Throughout her remarkable journey, Loretta Young rarely took a break, continuously gracing the camera lens from the tender age of 12 until the early 1960s. Her unwavering dedication resulted in over 250 film performances and appearances in more than 300 television programs. She effortlessly captivated audiences with her talent, leaving an indelible mark on the silver screen and small screen alike. Loretta Young is remembered not only for her exceptional talent, but also as one of the timeless beauties of early Hollywood. However, her name was also intertwined with one of the earliest scandals to rock the entertainment industry. She became known as the mother of Clark Gable's illegitimate daughter, a revelation that shook the public's perception of the glamorous world of Hollywood. Born as Gretchen Young in Salt Lake City, Utah on January 6, 1913, Loretta Young held from a family of three sisters. Her elder siblings, Polly Ann Young and Elizabeth Jane Young, who later became famous as Sally Blaine, shared in the journey of dreams and stardom alongside their beloved sister, at the tender age of three, Loretta and her two sisters found their lives taking a different path when their parents separated. They moved with their mother to Hollywood, where she managed a boarding house. Together, the three young girls lent a helping hand in running the boarding house, and with the guidance of their uncle, who held a position as a second director at a nearby studio, they embarked on a journey to become successful child actors. Loretta's on-screen debut occurred as a baby in the 1914 film The Only Way, and she later secured a small role in The Primrose Ring in 1917. Even in her early years, she made a brief appearance in The Sheik in 1921. As fate would have it, Loretta's mother found the love again when she remarried George Belzer, one of their lodgers. Two years after their marriage, Loretta's stepsister, Georgiana, who would later marry actor Ricardo Montalban, came into the world. When Loretta reached the age of 14, she departed from Ramona Convent Secondary School and embarked on her journey in the film industry. She landed a supporting role in the silent movie Naughty But Nice, which proved to be a stepping stone as she secured a screen contract with First National Studios. Influenced by the advice of Colleen Moore, the star of Naughty But Nice, Loretta decided to adopt a more exotic stage name, transforming from Gretchen to the alluring Loretta. It was in 1928, in the film The Whip Woman, that she was billed as Loretta Young for the first time, marking the beginning of a remarkable career under her new name. Loretta's journey in the world of silent movies continued, and in 1928, she graced the screen in supporting roles in The Magnificent Flirt and The Head Man. Initially known for her blonde appearance, she decided to embrace her natural brunette hair, a change that propelled her from being a teenage actress to taking on leading lady roles as an ingenue. The year 1929 proved to be significant for Loretta's career. She landed a prominent role alongside Lon Chaney in Laugh Clown Laugh. Additionally, she received the prestigious honor of being named one of the Wampa's baby stars, sharing the spotlight with esteemed names like Jean Arthur and others. Blessed with a pleasant and compelling speaking voice, Loretta effortlessly transitioned to the era of talkies. In 1929, she had her first speaking role in The Squall, 
solidifying her versatility as an actress. Known for her ambition and strong work ethic, Loretta consistently appeared in an impressive number of films each year, ranging from six to nine productions. In 1930, at the age of 17, Loretta found herself cast in The Second Floor Mystery alongside the actor Grant Withers, who was nine years her senior and already divorced. Their relationship made headlines when they eloped and tied the knot. However, their marriage lasted only a year before being officially annulled, marking a brief chapter in Loretta's personal life. Loretta's unwavering dedication and relentless pursuit of her craft caught the attention of Daryl Zanuck, who signed her to a contract with Warner Brothers, marking a pivotal moment in her career. When Zanuck later moved to 20th Century Fox in 1934, Loretta followed suit, establishing a fruitful partnership with him and starring in numerous successful films under his guidance. Throughout her impressive 26-year film career, she amassed a total of 88 movies, sharing the screen with the era's leading men. As time went on, Loretta's talent and hard work began to bear fruit. By the mid-1930s, she had solidified her position as a recognized Hollywood star, often cast as a captivating addition in B-movies. In 1938, her career reached new heights with the exceptional success of Kentucky, where her co-star Walter Brennan earned the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Loretta maintained her relentless work ethic, consistently taking on multiple film projects each year. Her reputation as a dependable and immensely talented performer grew stronger with each role she tackled. In 1944, she graced the screen in Ladies Courageous, a film that depicted a unit of female pilots bravely flying bombers from factories to airfields during the war, showcasing Loretta's versatility and dedication to portraying diverse and meaningful stories. Approaching the pinnacle of her career, Loretta Young made a profound impact in 1946 through her portrayal of a renegade Nazi's wife in Orson Welles' The Stranger. The following year, she achieved a monumental milestone by winning the Academy Award for Best Actress with her very first nomination for the comedy film The Farmer's Daughter. The story revolved around a Swedish farm girl who becomes a dedicated employee of a United States congressman and eventually fulfills her aspirations by becoming a congresswoman. This critically acclaimed and commercially successful film catapulted Loretta's career to new heights. In 1947, Loretta also captivated audiences with her performance in The Bishop's Wife alongside David Niven and Cary Grant, which continues to be a beloved favorite in television programming. Another well-received film came in 1949 with Mother is a Freshman, co-starring Van Johnson and Rudy Valley. That same year, she received yet another Academy Award nomination for Best Actress for her role in Come to the Stable. Transitioning from the silver screen to the world of television, Loretta emerged as one of the pioneering movie stars to successfully make the switch. From 1953 to 1961, she hosted and appeared in her television show, initially titled Letter to Loretta, and later renamed The Loretta Young Show. Loretta's television show became a platform for her to make dazzling and memorable entrances, dressed in exquisite haughty couture gowns. Surprisingly, she achieved even greater fame and recognition through television than she had as a movie star. With an impressive eight-year run, her program became the longest-running primetime network show ever hosted by a woman at that time. Loretta's talent and charisma were duly recognized as she earned three Emmy Awards, the first being in 1955 for Best Dramatic Actress in a Continuing Series. In her personal life, Loretta decided to retire from performing in the mid-1960s, she devoted herself to volunteer work for Catholic charities, often joining forces with her close friends Jane Wyman and Maureen O'Hara. However, she briefly emerged from retirement to appear in two television films. In 1986, she starred in Christmas Eve, a role that earned her a Golden Globe Award. Three years later, she showcased her talent once again in Lady in a Corner. While Loretta was a devout Catholic, 
She faced moments of controversy and fallen from grace throughout her life. Following her elopement and brief marriage to Grant Withers in 1931, during which she claims to have been the sole financial provider, she had affairs with Spencer Tracy and, in 1935, with Clark Gable, with whom she co-starred in The Call of the Wild. During her affair with Clark Gable, Loretta became pregnant, which posed a significant challenge for both of their careers. To protect themselves from the potential damage that the truth would cause, especially considering Gable was a married man, Loretta and her mother embarked on a European vacation where she gave birth to a baby girl. Given the circumstances, Loretta decided to publicly announce that she had adopted the child, concealing the true nature of her relationship with Gable. In 1940, Loretta married Tom Lewis, and her daughter was henceforth known as Judy Lewis, although she was never legally adopted. Together with Tom, Loretta had two sons, Christopher, who would later become a film director, and Peter Charles, a member of the San Francisco rock band Moby Grape. However, Loretta's marriage to Tom Lewis eventually came to an end, and they divorced in the early 1960s. Tom Lewis passed away in 1988. In 1961, Loretta penned her autobiography titled The Things I Had to Learn, offering insights into her eventful life and career. In 1972, she took legal action against the NBC network, successfully suing them for unlawfully broadcasting her TV shows abroad. As a result, Loretta was awarded $600,000 in damages, affirming her rights and the value of her work. In a surprising turn of events, Loretta entered into her third marriage at the age of 80 in 1993. She married Jean-Louis, a renowned fashion designer who was five years her senior. Unfortunately, their time together was cut short when Jean-Louis passed away in 1997. Tragically, Loretta Young's life came to an end on August 12, 2000 due to ovarian cancer. She passed away in Santa Monica, California at the age of 87. As per her wishes, her ashes were laid to rest in the family plot at Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, California, alongside her mother, Gladys Belzer. Her final resting place became a tribute to the remarkable legacy she left behind. Goodbye, and rest in peace, legendary actress Loretta Young. Loretta Young.